how are you, Tara? I'm good. It's Bridget. She's a little sleepy. She's a little bit she's of an on, asshole. She's on allergy medication. She has an ear infection because she has allergies. And the ear ointment, she's okay with now because she realizes that it helps. It makes her ear itch and hurt less. The pills, not really having it. So they've gotten to the point where they have to, like, starve her out. Like, my sister has to crush up the pill, put it in some food. The cat smells it in the food, so she won't eat the food. But she has to just be like, nobody feed her anything else. When she gets hungry enough, she will eat it. And she does. Nobody likes this arrangement because nobody likes being a dick to the cat. And the cat's grumpy about it, but it gets medicine in her. That's what we have to do for now. And then the medicine makes her a little bit drowsy. So she beat the crap out of a paper bag for a while and then was just like, <sighs> and We had to do the same thing with grandma. Oh. And my poor sister's tried everything. Like, she's tried every, like, people were giving me suggestions on Twitter, and I'm like, yeah, she tried it. Yeah, she tried it. She's made the kitty burrito. Like, everything you can think of. The kitty burrito. Yeah, like, you swaddle the cat so that they can't squirm and scratch you. You basically you wrap them up all but the head. Before <laughs> cat carry, before we had a cat carrier, that's how we got the cat to the vet. The we kitty... I put the poor thing in a pillowcase up to her neck and just hold her. The kitty they burrito. It, they call it the kitty burrito. So she's a little sleepy. But at least her ears aren't itchy right now. You know, in China, they have a different definition for that. Shh. <laughs> she's right here. I mean, yes, I have my headphones on, but cats have like <laughs> super good hearing. She can speak English. I'm. I quit. I'm confident that she can speak English. So. She responds to things I say. Like I'll look at her and I'll be like, "Really?" And she gives me this like look, like, "Yeah." So we we've got we we're we got a whole lot of our wheelhouse tonight. My God, do we have? We're back in our wheelhouse. Well, tonight. you're already taking out your thingy. You've forgotten the rules. No one wants to see your dick rules. Um. Oh my god. So I should. I guess we should get started. And I don't want to because they're already making me sad. This week is a whole lot of making me sad. Awesome. This week makes me sad. Fuck do people do this shit? Let me get the intro going. Each week. I don't know. Camera's not. Oh, yeah, you're bouncing around. Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here for a little segment we like to call crazy. What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And I'm you remember a little while back where I played that video, so Take the Poo to the Poo? Yeah. Where UNICEF had their, um, their campaign. Fuck you, little dot. That one looks UNICEF had this campaign in India to try to get people to stop defecating on the street. Yeah. Now, at least in India, I can kind of understand it because there's a whole lot of fucking poverty in India. It's not a good place in a lot of ways. Lovely country, and the people are great, but they have some social issues, and... Before over us over here in America can start throwing stones... Have to realize we have people doing it here not because they have uh, social problems, not because they're in poverty. I think, in fact, they do. They're doing it because they're bored. That's, I think we can say that they have social problems. Is that Uxbridge? Not societal problems. Is that fucking social problems? Is that Uxbridge or Uxbridge or Uxbridge? Uxbridge. 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 Yeah, well, the Uxbridge police want people to stop defecating onto trains. And I don't mean... Oh, get out of the fucking way. Stupid. Not you, this thing. I don't mean they want people to stop defecating while they're on the trains. They want people to stop shitting on top of the trains. What? 
Oaks Bridge police are issuing a stern warning to some vandals who are committing an odd crime. Police said they received a report from a PNW railroad conductor on Monday that four people were standing on a train bridge at Route 122 and they were defecating on a passing train. The department issued a warning on his Facebook page after receiving the complaint. Yes, you read that right. We have no idea what would possess someone to drop their pants and poop on a passing train. But guess what is happening, the post said. Take this as a warning. If we catch you with your pants down and defecating on the train, you'll be charged with everything we can see fit that fits the elements of the crime. Let's say they're looking More than for... one this happened? Yes. For a minute, I thought they were actually sitting atop a moving train, like up in a squat atop a moving train like James Bond, and I was a little bit impressed. I know exactly why this is happening. I know. But just clipping over the overpass doesn't really take much talent. I know exactly why this is happening. Borderlands 2. I don't know what that means. Video game. Oh. That's why I don't know what that means. From which comes the line, I'm the conductor of the poop train! What does that line mean? Well, it's said by a crazy person. Okay. So I guess video games do cause people to mimic them. Just not in the way we were thinking. I don't Screen know, is being weird. Is kind of a weird place. Like Massachusetts is Boston is the city they closed down the whole city because somebody put up one of the um, Aqua Teen Hunger Force characters. Yes, in, yeah, I know. I, in, I remember it, that. It's a weird place. So. This is what you're doing on your Saturday night, kids. Hey, what should we do tonight? Can we go, you know, to the arcade? Go to the fun park? No! Let's go poop on a train! I mean, like... Whatever happened to getting drunk outside the 7-Eleven? Yes! Oh, wait, they don't have 7-Eleven up there. I think they have, like, Store 24 for Wawa. Maybe? Circle K! Whatever. Wawa! Go to the whatever, fucking Wawa! Whatever your 24-hour convenience store is. You don't even need to get drunk at the Wawa because the Wawa's got that great machine that can make all the quarter flavor of soda you want. You get a raspberry oh, Dr. Pepper. Five Guys has that. Five Guys Three. has that. Huh. The only reason I forgive them for having Coke. Your screen is jump. It's it's not you. It's it's your screen is jumping all over. I think it's Google Plus being well, lovely. I don't see it on the feed. Like I have the feed running to the stream, whatever we call it in this business. Are you guys seeing it? Because I'm seeing it. I went up on the thing. Stop being stupid, Google Plus. I'm not paying you to be stupid. You know, they said I looked and sounded a lot better when we were on Skype. Yeah, we might want to start going back to Skype, given its problems. It's, for a while, Google Plus was the superior one, but... I mean, I, it does have sound effects, which I'm not currently using. Does anyone have a problem with us pausing and doing just that? No, nah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it next week. Yeah, shit's working right now. Shit's working right now. We'll do it next week. Let's not touch things. Uh. Let's not touch things that are properly functioning, because then they will cease to properly function. Yeah, there's a jumping. I, I, uh. Really? Yeah, it's not on your end. It's, it's, it's Google. It's, we can't no. do anything about it. We'll, we'll fuck with it next time. God damn it. Anyway. So, um, you know, having a family member pass is one of the most unfortunate times. I've had to deal with it. We've all, we've all kind of had to deal with it. So your patience is low. Your stress is high. You have enough shit to deal with. This is not one of those things you want to add to it. And I'm specifically pissed about this, you know, it falls a little close to home for me. 
not that this happened, but that I've been through this kind of, I, I've been through this, it sucks, and you don't need shit compounded on top of it. Corpse falls out of coroner's vehicle, rolls down the road. Chesterville, PA, a suburban Philadelphia coroner says a transport vehicle that dropped a corpse onto a busy roadway was to have been taken out of service later this month and replaced. Bucks, coroner, uh, Bucks County Coroner Joseph Campbell told the Bucks County, coroner, uh, Bucks County Courier Times, wow, that's a whole lot of C words there, that the converted pickup was retired immediately after a door malfunctioned at noon, about noon Friday, Friday sending the body onto the lower Southampton Township Road. The driver immediately realized the door had opened and retrieved the body within minutes. Campbell said the vehicle's age and accumulated wear and tear were to blame for the incident, which he called, quote, a horrible thing. The words that are standing out to me here are converted pickup. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically, you can use any kind of car to trans- like. My dad, the, the funeral director that did my dad's funeral was chosen because he was one of the first friends my dad made in the States. And my dad used to go with him to help with pickup. And I mean, this was back in the 60s. Shit was not high tech. So they would literally have like this guy's sedan and just put the body in the back seat <laughs> to transport it like over state lines. That's like, some weekend at Bernie shit there. I know. Yeah. Yeah, someone on the channel said, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and this is Bad Coroner. There's a lot of things you don't want to know about what happens in between the moment your loved one dies and the moment you see them in the casket. I think Cracked actually did a whole article on it. Yeah, like, but, but, but no, no. All the stuff they do to you that you don't want to know. Like, for the sake of your peace and sanity, you don't want to know what's going on with that body because it's things you would find hard. Not, but not a, not a van... Not a hearse, not a, no, a converted pickup. Pickups are great for lots of things. Bales of hay, helping your friends move. Not a body. It's just said, I mean, they can, nothing says they have to have a certain kind of vehicle to transport a body. D.A. Scott Jr., do a barrel roll. Like I said, my, my, my dad and his friend used to just pick up bodies in the back of the sedan, in the back of the truck. Like, it's, I mean, ideally, yes, I think you would want closed vehicle. One that is completely enclosed would be best and ideal. But no, I'm, I'm going to enlarge the picture here as much as I possibly can, because that is... I mean, it is horrible. It's in the middle of the fucking street! There's cars passing by. If there was if there was there long enough for someone to take a picture, that was too long. Can you imagine being the car behind them? I was just thinking that. I'd be like, oh shit. Like, how did your windshield get cracked? Jimmy? Well, a dead body fell out of a truck. No, really. How did your windshield get cracked? A dead body fell out of the truck. I don't really want to talk about it. If you're doing anything pro- professionally, more so if you're doing it for a federal or a state or local agency, the words converted should never be included with your vehicle. There are vehicles for that specific purpose. That's the ones you're supposed to get. Why do we pay tax? Fucking fuck. Anyway, back to stuff closer to home. Oh, thank you, Evie. What? I'm make my own shut up. It's nice. Back to stuff a little closer to home for our, our ridiculous, ridiculous show. Um, people loves them some Jesus. And there is nothing wrong with loving Jesus. Jesus seems like a pretty good guy. His but, PR team... But he seems like a pretty good guy. Yeah, actually, you keep, doing, you keep setting them up for me. This guy, I think if this guy is on Jesus' PR team... It, oh, come on, work. Did you get that one? Did it send? 
If this yeah. guy is on Jesus' PR team, he needs to be fired. Naked and high, man breaks into home, recite scripture. Oh. Seattle, Washington. It was just before 2 a.m. when the family of four heard a loud crash. That's when the naked, higher than a kite man, forced his way into their home and began quoting gospel. Wife and mother called. This is a passage from fiction because then I don't think that counts. <laughs> and you will know my name is the Lord. I think they've actually kicked that out of the Bible. <laughs> yeah. Um, people just like to shout it when they shoot people or something. When the wife and mother called 911 while the husband chased the man out of the house with a baseball bat. Which I could just see him. What? You don't like Jesus? What? I got a Bible? What? 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 You don't like God? Yeah, the cops around. They found the nude dude that's really in the story. This is from a new really? source. Rick Corey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nude dude jogging down the street and talking to himself. I love the word dude. I use it way too much. Yeah. Way too much. It's yeah. a good word. Not for journalism. Not for journalism. Not unless you're doing a story about the Big Lebowski, because yes. then you kind of get to get around it. But, no. The officers had to chase the guy, but eventually, the guy? But eventually caught him and took Is his writer high? <laughs> Dude, the cops had to chase the guy. It was so fucking crazy, man. Eventually caught him and took him to jail. The preacher wannabe admitted taking LSD before the incident. Those are two things that do not go well together. Evangelicalism and LSD. That's when shit gets a little crazy. You know what? We already had somebody do that. It, it could be amazing, though. Like, you could talk to Jesus. And Jesus would say, dude, you're so high right now. You're talking you to me. Jesus would be like, but seriously, what's the deal? Hey, people? Not a problem. Seriously. Not a problem. What the fuck? would be like, cool. I don't, I don't know why you guys get so hung up on it. It's a big deal. And just, my God, that's not what you want to wake up to, of all the horrible things. And there are many in the world. I suppose the relevant question is, was he excited? By yes, that is. Reciting. What turns you on there? Leviticus, Song of Samson? Look, if you actually read through the Bible, there's straight up smut. In the yeah, Bible. there Yeah, there is. Song of Samson, holy shit. Mm -hmm. He was a pervy dude. That shit got in the Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is... That, that's... Oh my god. That, that, of all the... You know... I, I don't understand why that got combined with being high. I, I've seen p high people do a lot of silly shit, personally. I, no, none of them I mean, He saw the face of God. And had to share yes. enough to bust into somebody's house like the Kool-Aid man. Said, my, my son, take off your clothes and spread my word. Yeah, but I don't think anywhere in the Gospels it started with, oh yeah, you know... Hey, you know, that book has been translated so many times, yeah. it's entirely possible. <laughs> so I don't know. The next one got sent to me this week, and I think people are getting wise to what we do, because this is sort of like a subversive version of The Naked Crazy. Uh-oh. This is, this is like, you know... Did they, like, put on clothes as they rampaged? No, not exactly. Um, nude homeowner scares off burglar. Burglar apologizes. Oh. Uh -huh. Burglar ran away with empty hands at an Eiffel Wednesday night when he was confronted by a nude pistol-packing homeowner. Homeowner wake up, woke up to see a flashlight moving around outside his bedroom. After checking that his wife was sleeping behind him, the homeowner grabbed his 9mm handgun, he kept it in his nightstand, and leapt out of bed. He did not have any clothes on. Quote, I have a tattoo of the Grim Reaper, my hair is sticking up all crazy, and I'm naked, said the homeowner, who asked that his name be withheld for safety reasons. 
<laughs> I'm not sure if the burglar is more afraid of me or the gun. You know, I don't think he really needed the gun. He didn't actually, he wasn't actually armed with a gun. It's just what he called a penis. <laughs> That's where the Grim Reaper tattoo is. <laughs> <laughs> Upon confronting the homeowner, the burglar screamed, quote, I'm so sorry, sir, twice before he ran and jumped out of the first floor window it apparently used to get into the house. Was it that small? Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm, I'm so, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ouch. Maybe that's why he wants his name with it. Either it's so, it was so small or it was that big. No dude would say, I'm so sorry about that. Another dude. Come on. He would and then immediately jump out of the out of, out of a window head first. That's fear. That's like you. you look, like, look at a giant dick and be like, oh, I'm sorry. That's like, you know, we're, talk, we're talking Pulp Fiction. That's like Bruce Willis walking down the stairs and seeing what's going on with the gimp. That's when you're, I'm sorry, and you leave. But that's not what Bruce Willis did. No, it's not. He, he grabbed a bat. Well, he grabbed a fucking, you know, katana and went to town, but. The, okay, divine all. This is my boomstick. And this is my gun. And <laughs> where we did um, what's called an adventure room which is, it's kind of like Saw, but without anything bad happening to you. Because you start off, they handcuffed us all to the wall. And I can slip cuffs like motherfucking Houdini. Slip right out of them. Did, my do we like, need... No, we can't cheat. Put them back on. We have to find the key. Fine. Did, wait, 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 wait. Do we want to know where you acquired that life skill? No. Continue. Um, so we had to, you know, you had to figure out how to get the key and then figure out how to get the combination to get out of the room and, you know, get to the next room and solve that puzzle. It was really, really fun. But, like, as soon as the handcuffs came out, there's there's one dude in the group who was a little smaller than the other dudes in the group, and, like, he was the gimp for the rest of the experience. At least that's what I call them. And then because of one of the puzzles, there started being a joke about that same dude having three balls and... He had a great time, though. And everybody was impressed with my ability to just slide right out of handcuffs. The tangents you go on. Just it was the gimp thing. It's like free association hell. Sorry. All right. It makes everybody a little more drunk, though, because they have to take a shot when I do that. So I've, I've been traveling abroad a bunch lately. Um, been to England, going back to Canada in, in this very week. Does Canada count as abroad? Don't. See, this is part of the problem. Part of the thing is, the, the joke is when you no, go... No, I mean, it is another country, but when I think abroad, I think you're crossing an ocean. But, like, Mexico doesn't count as abroad. Well, well that's the joke. When, when you're going, you know, across... Out of the, the joke is you don't tell anyone you're American. You say you're gay because mm -hmm. of the bad reputation we have. And I kind of get defensive about that. It's it's kind of like a not all Americans kind of thing. But then this happens, and I have to shut the fuck up. And you realize that we it's true. Yeah, uh, Virginia Dad. Oh, doing this one? I yes, this Virginia Dad <laughs> claims kingdom so daughter seven can be a princess. A Southwest Virginia man claimed a kingdom so his daughter could be a princess. Jeremiah Heaton, who has three children, recently trekked across the Egyptian desert to a small mountainous region between Egypt and Sudan called Bir Tawil area about eight hundred square miles is claimed by neither Sudan nor Egypt, result of land disputes dating back more than 100 years. Since then, there have been several online claims to the property, but Heaton believes his physical journey to the site, where he planted a flag designed by his children, means he can rightfully claim it. Obviously. I mean, 
years and years of conflict from two countries that are right there with people who live right there. But you, random white guy from Virginia, you clearly have the most right to this area. Like, this is such a fucking middle class white thing to do. Do you remember that like, that old saying? Oh, I'm just going to go to Africa and plant a flag, and now I'm fucking royalty. I have a country. No, no. Those no. those who are doomed, those who who fail to heed history, are doomed to repeat it. Also, do you even want to be a monarch in a disputed territory where one of the like Egypt doesn't fuck around? Yeah. Did you see what they did to the last guy who was running Egypt? Did you see what? No. Do the words no. Arab Spring mean a damn thing to you? Like, this isn't going to work out. And also, good luck with your child not growing up totally fucking insufferable. Oh, I'm a princess. Fuck you. Like, there's, there's like buying your kid too much shit for Christmas. And then this is a whole other level. Do you like, th- just... For five seconds, did you know? Just go on Google and find out how much shit was caused in the world by some white motherfucker crossing an ocean and putting a flag in something. We were supposed to have grown out of that shit. Part of America, part of the whole point of America and the revolution was we had grown out of that shit. Empires and we're supposed to... It's a bad thing, is what I'm saying. This is such an asshole white person thing to do. Because, let's be honest, like, there's no African American person, there's no Asian person that's going to think that it's cool to do this. This is a total white person thing to do. Because we seem to think it's okay for us to do shit like this. Also, I don't know why. Do you really want to make a seven-year-old from Virginia a princess? Well, that's like I said, that's the other thing. Good luck with your kid not growing up to be a completely insufferable jackass. His other kids, the flag was designed by his other daughter. Really? What you yeah, saying? yeah. They're, well, they're just sort of um, ladies-in-waiting. Is that it? I don't know. Like, wait till this little fucker sweet 16. No, he, there weren't sisters. Uh... Uh, J- uh, no, he had one other sister and Justin and yeah. Well, no, just hit one daughter and two brothers. And it thinks that it was um, the flag was designed by his daughter. Really, where? Girl. Buzzfeed. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking at the Times. Well, fine. Go to a record news. <laughs> Emily, Justin, and Caleb. I will say if Game of Thrones season fat five starts off weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That would solve the whole fucking problem if like a hound just walked into King's Landing and been like Put a flag. Now. Fuck all y'all. I just it... But you don't want a seven year old running shit. Well no, princesses don't run shit. That's the other thing this guy doesn't realize. Did he just declare himself a king? Oh, that's something white people should... Daddy has to be a king. That's something white people just shouldn't do. That, that's something white people should... Okay, yeah. And of course, the Eddie Izzard quote, Do you have a flag? No flag, no country. Those are the rules I just made up. <laughs> it's sad that that's still relevant. I hate this guy. Him. Also, before he did this, had he never heard of the internet? Did, did he have? For Christ's sakes, the internet thought that Steven Spielberg shot a dinosaur this weekend. I know. And that made my whole weekend. That was the best shit ever. For Christ's sakes. We're boycotting his films. How can he kill this endangered animal? Right. Christ's sakes. Except okay, you, internet. you don't do this shit in the internet age. You don't do it. Well, our last one is is Florida. Because, of course, it's Florida. Gotta have it. 
And it's about as us as we, it can get. Florida, Florida cops use stun gun to try to apprehend drunken man at water park. Oh. Richard Campaigna faces charges of batter on a law enforcement officer, splashing water on a deputy. That's a charge. Disorderly conduct, resisting officers without violence after he ran into Legoland, Florida's Lazy River after police confronted him. The ordeal even found the man giving his name as pterodactyl. Okay. During the 30 minute chase. Was he the motherfucking pterodactyl? I mean, he doesn't say, but probably. What's your name? Pterodactyl. My mama likes Spielberg. That's what I tell people when they ask. That's what I tell the, the fuzz when they ask my name. What's your name, Pterodactyl? Tara. What's your last name? Dactyl. Uh, Richard Campana was ch- uh, Campan- Campania? Is it Campania or Campania? Campania. Campania. Okay, like lasagna. Campania. Richard Campania was chased to the park in an incident that lasted around 30 minutes. Hey, that, that's, that's an entire half hour of TV right there, kids. That's a long time. Cops were called after Campania, who arrived at the park alone and appeared to be drunk, refused to leave Legoland. Instead, he ran into the park's Lazy River, which was occupied by a large number of children. During the course of the subsequent trace, he splashed water on an officer. That was when the stun gun was used, but unsuccessfully. Here's the... Yeah. How drunk do you have to be to decide to go to the water park by yourself as a grown-up? To Legoland. Yeah, to the Legoland water park. I was like, how, what level of drunk is that? Like, let's mark pedophilia. <laughs> and, and hopefully he was barfing. And, um, however, I do have, I'm not sure how big of an issue this is. Maybe some people who know science better can tell me, but I thought water plus electricity equals bad. As far as I'm aware, yeah. Those are not friends. So if the guy's in the lazy river and you try to use a stun gun on it, a stun gun on him, I think the best possible outcome is it doesn't work. I mean, I'm going to assume kids were jumping out of that lazy river when the police started chasing a dude. Especially when he's screaming that he is, in <laughs> fact, pterodactyl. This is probably the funniest chase ever, because you have you ever been in a Lazy River ride? Yeah. Like, it doesn't go fast. No, and you most people... Move. Yeah, you're in like, got it! Got it! Got it! There's not... <laughs> if, if your inner tubes do not have a lot of steering or maneuverability, they just sort of go yeah. around. So trying to get the fuck out of the way... It's, it's not like a National Lampoon's type police chase to begin with. <laughs> and then he's yelling that he's the pterodactyl. Maybe that's a new superhero. No, it's the Pink Ranger. Pterodactyl! <laughs> really? You don't remember Power Rangers when they had the dinosaurs. I remember Power Rangers. I never watched it. Mastodon! Tyrannosaurus! Pterodactyl! I was really, really into She-Ra. Yeah. Actually, actually, technically, Power Rangers are a little past our time, like high school, college age for us, but... Do they turn into dinosaurs? Well, they had, ty- they had dinosaur zords for a while. What's a zord? The robots. The giant robots. Oh. It's past my age, and yet I still know it. I'm a sad man. Why did the Power Rangers need dinosaur robots? Because they're giant monsters to fight. Oh. Because the monsters would... to sell more toys? Yes, obviously. Because they started off small, and then Crazy Lady on the Moon would say grow, and they grew, and then they'd have to fight them in the robot. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, the plot when of power... Crazy Lady on the Moon tells me to grow. I fucking grow. And then I fight a robot. Yeah, Power Rangers was not exactly big on on sense. Legoland, though, that's that that's oddly specific. What do you think the water slides at Legoland are like? You come out with the most bruised ass in the world. Ow! 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 Made of Lego? That sounds horrible. 
That sounds like torture. <sighs> Doesn't sound at all attractive or like family fun. Well, and to compound that, you have the, the you know you have the, the crazy guy. Yeah. Who declares that he is in fact a pterodactyl? Yeah. Do you ever think these people who make these proclamations later on have to go? I said what? <laughs> I'd like to think. Because what's the thought process that got to? Instead of when they sober up, they're like, "Yeah, I am a pterodactyl." I am a pterodactyl. You don't know me. <laughs> his name for his dick. We'll bring it right back around. <laughs> <laughs> if his dick has wings, I'm impressed. One of my favorite things on the internet is the the dragon penis tattoo, the puff the magic penis. You have to have seen it. No. Oh my god. I'm it's not Googling. Favorite, it's one of my favorite things on the whole internet. This guy is just I'll, I'll Google it and put it in the chat because you guys have to it's totally not safe for work. But Tara. this guy is this totally elaborate tattoo, like his dick is a dragon and then he has wings. Like on the pelvic, uh, it goes all the way around, and he has like something actually tattooed around his anus. And this is one of it's your amazing. favorite. This is one of your favorite things on the internet. Obviously, it's like what the internet is for, and then it's pierced through too. It's amazing. Like because you think about because the pictures are taken where he's you know at attention, but when you think about it, he had to be. At attention the whole time this work was done. And this is elaborate shit. So it was like multiple sittings. You got to respect the artistry of it. And the stamina. I know I've sent it to you before. I've never seen it and I don't want to. I could die happy not knowing that fucking existed. Well, we can't have that. I will Google it right now. So, yeah, I guess the first thing we learned this week is you're not even safe at the water park from dinosaurs. We're stepping on Lego. So, we learned that white people have not learned a damn thing in the past 300 years. White people. God damn it, this week we've got not all white people, we've got not all Americans. Fuck's sake, come on! You're killing me here! Uh, I guess he's not at attention in all the pictures, but still. We've learned that <laughs> sometimes it's good to be naked. It helps in some situations. It can be useful. I suppose if you look really scary naked in one direction or the other. In some situations. But we've learned that... Andre the Giant would be scary naked for totally different reasons than... I am the Dwed Pilot Wobbits! George W. Bush. Like... We've, we've, also, we've also learned that one of those times it's not good to be naked is when you're quoting the Lord. It doesn't help your cause. Jesus doesn't need to see your penis. He's Jesus. He already has the gist. He knows. He's got it. We've learned that if you're going to be... If you're going to be moving things... Well, if you're going to do a job, use the proper tools. Like moving a body, use the proper vehicle, not a pickup. If, it's an enclosed vehicle to transport the deceased. If you could conceiv conceivably go... Although I say that, and we moved, we, my, we didn't use a hearse for my dad. We had him on the fire truck on the top of the looking ladder. Well, that could have gone really wrong. <laughs> uh, finally, we've learned Jesus Christ, people, poop in a toilet... Poop in a toilet. That's all. I have to. If it's not a toilet, don't poop on it. If you are that bored, like, read a book. Read a motherfucking a book. Learn to knit blankets for 
four babies who don't have blankets. Please, God. Volunteer somewhere. I learned to poop in a toilet when I was two. Try to figure out if the refrigerator light stays on while you're not, while the door is closed. Any number of things you can do. If, if. Not pooping on a moving train. If you were a grown ass person and you were pooping on things, you have failed to learn some crucial life skills. Yeah. Something went wrong there somewhere. Jesus Christ. Who sees a train and goes, yep, I'm a poop on it. I don't know. I don't know why you would do that. Because did you bring toilet paper with you? And now I've, there's a joke about going into and out of the tunnel. And I don't want to make it. I'm just going to leave that one lay there. Yeah. 